Uh, my name is John Howell. I'm 81 years old. And people tell me all the time they want to be like me when they grow up. And I said, well, I've never grown up. That's the problem. I'm a competitive water skier. I've been skiing competition for probably 45, 50 years. And um, I've knocked myself out. I've dislocated my shoulders, broken my ribs several times. But uh, about five or six years ago, I was diagnosed with AFib. And um, the problem with being an AFib is that you can, you're five times more likely to have a stroke. So if you're thinking about what can I do to help prevent that, they give you the choice of blood uh, thinners. And being on a blood thinner, I mean, I crash and I hit the ski. I hit my ski one time. And my arm is all black and blue. And uh, this was before I was on a blood thinner, but that could have a very tragic ending. So I was thinking about getting an ablation. So, um, I went to see Dr. Ellen Bogan in Richmond. He to told me ab uh, about this other procedure where they put something, go up through your groin, put something in your left atrium. There's a pocket there, and that's where 95% of the blood clots form. So if you can eliminate that, then you're in pretty good shape. So we want to do something to prevent them from having strokes. Either go on a blood thinner, or they get a watchman. The watchman is a trademark, but the general therapy is called left atrial appendage occlusion. It looks like a badminton um, birdie, and it captures and closes the left atrial appendage. So what we're trying to do is huge. We're trying to change the paradigm, change the way doctors manage patients with atrial fibrillation. We're trying to change it by doing a study that compares oral anticoagulants to Watchmen. And it is the largest study in the world, 3,000 patients, the largest study in the world that has the potential to change the face of medical practice in terms of implanting these devices or not implanting them. If this study proves that the Watchmen is as good as or better then why ever put someone on a blood thinner? Because if you're on a blood thinner and you start bleeding and you're on an airplane or on a, a boat or you're hiking in the woods or, you know, that could be disastrous, number one. So number two is if you're an avid sports person and you like playing basketball and you like mountain biking, you're on a blood thinner, you better think twice about doing those things. So. It allows people to live the type of life they want. The, the procedure has given me a, a layer of um, feeling that I'm doing everything I can to keep myself uh, up and moving and minimizing my health risk. It's not just about me doing something on a patient, it's about me changing medical practice for the whole world, and that's beyond exciting. Life has many avenues and it's up to you to pick out the ones you want, but don't stand there at the crossroads, don't do anything.